joined now by Stephen Platt, CEO of Risk Green. Welcome, Stephen. Um, pleasure to have you with us today. Um, Thank you congratulations very much. to you and everyone at the team at Risk Screen, placing 79th on the Risk Top 100. Excellent position, excellent ranking. And really good to see you on there. Um, I thought we'd have a quick chat today around some thoughts around what you're seeing market trends wise, in, you know, what's going on in the market that your clients are concerned about. Um, where do you think the focus is as we look forward? Well, Mark, great to have the opportunity to speak to you. And um, obviously, we're delighted with our ranking this year. Um, taking us up a few notches and remaining in the top uh, top right quartile. In terms of um, what we're seeing in, in the market, the sort of trends, um, I think probably consolidation, uh, obviously, of, 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 tech, of tech vendors and simplification of, you know, highly complex uh, processes, trying to simplify those processes uh, by taking advantage of solutions that are on single platforms. I think the other uh, trend that we're seeing is um, businesses are placing much greater importance and emphasis on uh, ease of configuration. Yep. So the ability to configure with no code um, mm -hmm. through the UI of a solution is, I think, becoming increasingly important. Um, and also, I think um, the ability to embed uh, the risk-based approach in whatever solution yep. you're using almost systematically. Um, mm -hmm. That's that's also um, a, a big ask that we're seeing increasingly from industry. So I don't know if they're helpful, but, but you know that they are certainly trends <laughs> as we as we perceive them to be. It's, it's, it yeah, resonates with what we're thinking as well. And that this need to you know put the tools in the hands of people in a way that they can get at them and use them, you know, the no code type approach if you like. And yeah. that that need to to embed as well the, the ability to analyze and make decisions. I always say that until you can put a number on it or some sort of valuation against something on a risk based approach, there's not a lot I can do with it. <laughs> exactly right. And and there really is no point in you know buying some solution which promises the earth, which you're mm -hmm. we, we, you know which if you're going to be stuck in implementation for twelve or eighteen months, what businesses want is they want a rapid return on the investment that they're making in whatever technology they're buying. Um, yep. Because if they can't deliver and demonstrate that rapid ROI, then the wind goes out of their sails and yep. you know, you're back to square one and lots and lots of people have been burnt in the process. And that's, you know, that's a terrible scenario that uh, you need to avoid. Absolutely. Yeah, I've always, always said people that promise the earth, they show up, but there's no plants on it, right? Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> so just just thinking through that and helping your clients, what are the particular you know, pain points that you've been helping them with lately? I mean, I think the key pain points for uh, our clients, certainly within the financial services industry, mm -hmm. uh, is, is the need to really drive operational um, e efficiencies. I think that's probably... Uh, number one, they want to cut costs. They want to increase the profitability of their relationships. But obviously, there can't be any trade off on compliance. And yep. you know what? What we do ultimately is that we we deliver a bunch of business advantages uh, to uh, to our customers through the way that they effectively manage financial crime risk. You know, it's not uh, enough to just to comply. It's about the way you comply. And if you can comply and outperform by taking advantage of all of these operational efficiencies, mm -hmm. then it's a win-win. And that's what we're about. We're about delivering a win-win around our onboarding, screening, and PKYC solutions. So operational efficiencies, freeing up your staff so that they can focus on high-value tasks, not the, the sort of daily grind uh, that they are confronted with because of that spaghetti junction of processes and all of that fragmented data. I think the other thing I've already alluded to is, um, you know, the rapid ROI. Um, there is a lot of vaporware on the market. Um, businesses being stuck in integration is a big problem. Um, they want to realize the value of the investment quickly. The other, um, I think, pain point is just around complexity. The yeah. challenge is massively complex. Their processes are massively complex. Some of their customer relationships are hugely complex. So it's multidimensional. And if you've got a solution that you're able to support, that's able to cut through all of that complexity, um, mm -hmm. then you know I think you're you know you're 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 
you're hitting the nail on the head, if you like. But, you know, I could go on, but I think they are <laughs> they are the key pain points that we hear from industry um, you know, frequently. Oh, I, I, I think you've nailed, nailed it on the head there. Those, those are the key issues that we often hear as well. It's, it's been wonderful to talk to you today. Congratulations again to you, to you and all your team for your placement and our best wishes as you go forward. Well, I'm very grateful for your time and thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Bye-bye.